In this video, we're going to take a look at the question post in Google Classroom. Specifically, we're going to look at a short answer question. I've already gone ahead and logged into Google Classroom and I have created a question in Classroom. But to remind you to create a question in Classroom, you click the plus sign and you select Create Question. Here is the question that I have created for my students. It is a discussion question around this article right here. Let's look and see how I've set this question up. So I have typed the question on the question line. I have given them some additional instructions because I want them to read this article first and then answer the questions. In addition, I'm asking them to post their response and then reply to two other students. And I have included that information in the instructions. Notice that when you ask a short answer question in Google Classroom, you have a couple of options. First of all, you can allow students can students to reply to each other. That's important in this case because I want to get a discussion going, but you can also turn that option off. And you can allow students to edit their answer after they have submitted. Again, that is something you can turn off. So let's take a look at this from the student side because as we know in Google Classroom, things don't always look the same from the student side as they do from the teacher side. So switching over to my student account, um, here you can see this is what it looks like on the student side. They see the question, they see the directions, they have the article linked, and they have a space right here for them to submit their answer. So once a student has entered their answer, they will hit the submit button. They will then see that their assignment has been marked done, and they will see an option to see their classmates' answers. So in this example, they needed to respond to another student, so they're going to click in to see their student, their fellow students answers and they will be able to reply to those students. Once they've entered their reply they can click post and then that student will see that they have a reply to their answer. Now let's go back to the teacher side and see what's happened on the teacher dashboard. So here we can see that we have two students done. As a teacher, I can either click on the question or can I click on the done to go immediately to the done answers. I will be able to see each student's answer and the replies that have gone along with that. I can even jump into the conversation by replying here. So you can see that you can also jump in and reply to questions as well. To go back to the original stream, you can click the back button, and that is how to set up and use the short answer question in Google Classroom.